All right, everybody. So let's get started on Meteor Collector. Uh, to begin with here, we're going to learn how to like set up the actual board, add the extension, create our basket, and like move our basket left and right. So the first thing we need to be able to do is, yeah, let's make this big. We're going to take our scroll bit, and we're gonna take our micro bit, and we're gonna plug the two of them together like this, okay? Now, once you have these two things connected to one another, the first thing we need to add is an extension to be able to control the scroll bit. So let's go back. I'm gonna click on extensions. We're gonna search in the top here, scroll bit. Okay. And here's the scroll bit right here. So we're gonna click on this extension. So now on the left hand side of our screen, we can see the scroll bit. Now the disadvantage to adding things to our micro bit is our um, simulator on the left is no longer going to work the way that we normally see it work. So we have to like keep uploading our code to see it work and go through. But we're going to get to that here in a little bit. So again, we're going to create a basket and like work on moving our basket back and forth. So if you take a look again at the scroll bit, now we make this thing big again. If you look, the basket is going to be in, you can see that it says row right here, row six. The basket's gonna go back and forth along the bottom of our system. And we could use the entire width but it's difficult to get like the basket to move across the entire width in enough time. So instead, we're just going to use a chunk out of the middle and not really mess with it. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to start our basket um, in row six, column eight, and column nine. And I'm going to show you how to do that here. So we're going to create a variable going to be using lots of variables in the second. Most programming needs a lot of variables. So we're going to create a variable and we're going to name this variable basket x. Okay, because this is going to be like the x position of our basket. The y position of our basket is always going to be in the sixth uh, row, but we're going to change our columns. Okay. And to begin with, we're going to set our basket X, okay, the starting position of the basket to eight. Let's zoom in. All right, so we say set basket to eight. Um, and we're going to begin with that. All right. So now our forever code, we are going to work on um setting like where the basket is okay so underneath the scroll bit here we're going to grab set pixel at column zero row zero to 128. 128 is the brightness um columns this and this they are going to um, change based upon what we want so remember our basket is always going to be in row six. So we're going to set that to row six. Our column though is going to change based upon our button in press. So we're going to grab variables and grab basket X and put that in column because that variable will change depending on our A and B button. Now our basket is actually two pixels wide. So we're basically going to duplicate this. Except for this next one, I'm gonna put basket out. We're gonna to go to math. And we're gonna grab zero plus zero. I'm gonna put it in that first bin instead. We're gonna add bat, oops, wrong place. I'm trying to put that in the zero. Basket X plus one. So basically now, right, basket X is starting at eight. So in this first uh, um, row, we're going to turn pixel 8 on in row 6. 
And in the second one, we're going to take 8 plus 1, which is 9, and also turn that on. So pixels 8 and 9 should be on. So let's try and plug in our board. We're going to hit the download button after we've connected to it. So I'm downloading my code now. And we will take a look at this. And we can see the basket, if I can move my finger, is like right there. We also, I have an artifact from before that I need to clear. So let's work on that too. Um, I should display my changes. It's something that I forgot to do. So let's add that. So I'm going to scroll bit. We're going to say, display your changes. I'm going to drop that in there. All right. So now when we download, here we are. Pixels are on in the bottom. So now we need to make it so that when we press the A and the B button, those pixels start to move, okay? So let's jump back in. We're gonna go to inputs. We're gonna grab on A pressed. So we right now are gonna say, okay, when the button A is pressed, we are going to change our basket by negative one because the A button is on the left hand side and we want to like move it over towards the left, which is going down in numbers. Okay. Because we're going to go down in numbers, we're going to say variables change basket X by negative one. We are also going to uh, display our changes at the end of that. Actually, now let's clear our scroll bit instead. So let's go to clear scroll bit, put that in there. I'm gonna duplicate this, change this to a B. And now B is gonna make our numbers get bigger so that they move towards the right. So we're gonna change that to a positive, right? And again, we're going to download that code and test. Okay, so once it's downloaded, now if we click on your A and your B button, you should be able to move your piece. Now we have a bit of a glitch. We can actually move our basket over so far that it goes off of the screen. So we're going to fix that next. And we actually don't even want to go all the way over to the screen. Ultimately here, we're going to go from pixel 4 up to pixel like 13, I believe. Um, and we're going to leave a couple of the pixels on the end blank. So we're going to set those numbers next. In order to do that, we're going to use an if statement. Two of them, ultimately, but we're going to work on A first. So we're going to grab some logic. We're going to say if, and these two things are going to go into our if statement, right? And we're going to grab some logic comparison. We're going to grab the number less than number option or zero. Less than zero. And in this case, we're going to use our variable basket X. We're going to say if basket X is greater than Four. So this is going to be the lower end of the system, okay? Then we can change our basket X by negative one. We can clear a scroll bit and like have it repeat again. If it if basket X gets to be less than four, it's not going to let us change basket X anymore. So like um, that's going to be as low as it gets. We're going to do a similar process over here. Here we're going to say if our basket X is less than 12, then we're going to change basket X by 1. Okay. Now, that limits our basket. Now remember, basket is like uh, 8 plus 1. So because of plus 1, we're actually going to be able to go up to 13 because basket will be in 12 and then basket plus 1 will be 13. 
at the low end, it goes to four because basket will be four and then basket plus one will be four. Now, when we download this, we should now hit limits. All right, so here, uh, here's my basket again in the bottom. I can push the button to move it over and notice now I keep on pushing the button, but it doesn't move any past there. I can push my button on the opposite end and it doesn't move there either. So basically we should be able to light up all the way to, uh, what's that? Column 13 and all the way down to column four. Those are the values that we want to be stuck in between. You should have three left on like, um, what is it, either side, maybe just one of the sides. Yeah, four on the bottom end and three on the top end. All right, so that is the end of getting our basket set up. Next video, we're gonna talk about getting the meteorites to fall out of the sky.